such a hell of a competitor. Spy in the buster. That innovative defense. Wow. From Leo Rush. Oh wow. Oh, calling the shot. Let's bring back Stunner. Mike Leo Rush. This one on paper is something we've been waiting to see, but Jordan Oliver kind of A and B and C your way out of the conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah, but Jordan Oliver, he was originally scheduled for a one-on-one -on -one match against Leo, and then Hellfire McGuire while absent right now. Oh, wow, oh. slap to the face. While absent right now, he pulled some strings, he did what he had to do and got Miami Mike in this matchup. Oh! That was their open hand slap. May not have been Jordan's target, but it seemed to work out in his favor. This one's gonna be so innovative, almost too fast to call. Leo Rush, both feet in the face of Miami Mike. And that's what you wanna do in this triple threat environment. Try to sequester or eliminate one individual so you can concentrate one another. Uh, this is exactly what you were talking about, Brandon. Maybe being a little too quick, you can see. Wow. <laughs> see, in that whole in that whole instance, all I can call was that drop kick. Jordan Oliver stands at about six foot three, six foot two. He should not be able to move that fast at that height. No, yeah, but he has that youthful exuberance, but he also got just got that ring post right to the face. Miami Mike is a ever improving individual i think 2022 may be the year of miami mike here in mcw it, and it's interesting that you would say that considering the fact as we said he hasn't picked up that big win but all these impressive showings he definitely has to be in the conversation of being somewhat of an mvp here in mcw i mean he is hung with the best move for move hold for hold come within a inch of winning these contests and Again, that back elbow. I mean, he he's, he he makes it tough to, to to like him with the arrogance, but he's just <laughs> turning into such a hell of a competitor. Spine Spine buster! Wow, big spine buster, but only a two count. As you said, Brandy, the the arrogance, the, maybe the maybe the overconfidence. It's kind of hard to like him, but at the same time, you have to you kind of respect it. It's pure hubris. He's like a fungus, though. He's starting to grow on the MCW faithful. Uh, is it, the, the, fun, the fungus comment, is that, is that really Mike or is that more of a Hellfire Maguire adjective? Yeah, you might be right about that. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the issue. It's Miami Mike, we want to like, but Hellfire makes it so difficult. Oh! Wow, that. Hard elbow, forearm to the face of Miami Mike. Look for Jordan Oliver to pick up the pace. And that's actually something that may work for every one of these competitors. Maybe quicken the pace, but sooner or later, somebody's gonna have to slow it down and really start picking apart one of their opponents to pick up that win. Well, when the pace quickens like that with three athletes that like to move fast and rapid fire, it all comes down to who makes the first mistake. And right now, Jordan Oliver oh. attacking with precision but one of the most innovative athletes in the history of pro wrestling, and I mean that, Leo Rush, showing us he's got the goods. Somebody who is no stranger to big time matchups. Leo, Leo Rush, he's, he's been to the big time. He's got a WrestleMania under his belt. He's former Cruiserweight champ in NXT. I mean, controversial as he is, the man cannot it can't you can't be deny argued. how good he is. I mean, you talk about the Rey Mysterios, the Amazing Reds, the Leo Rushes, the Ricochets. You got to throw his name into that very esteemed group of individuals. And that's also something that we may be able to say about Jordan Oliver and Miami Mike. Uh, probably not not too long in the future. I don't know, man. I think Leo. Oh wow. Moonsault to the outside, taking out Jordan Oliver. Miami Mike sees an, an opening. Diving over the top rope, taking out both Jordan Oliver and Leo Rush. Boy, he made up the split there, did Jordan Oliver. 
I mean, within five seconds, we saw just incredible athleticism. And all three men down. Miami Mike, though, first to his feet, tossing in Leo Rush. Miami Mike, he he may have a bone to pick with Leo Rush. I mean, back at Bruiser Strong, he outright blamed Leo for costing him his match against Trey Miguel, who you will actually see later here tonight as well. But he outright blamed Leo Rush for costing him that matchup. Miami Mike better have a bone to pick oh. with everybody here in MCW at this point. Our leg hooked. Lateral press attempt. Leo Rush, though, you can see the veteran in this matchup. Young veteran starting to dictate the pace. Leo's calling his shots. He's definitely in charge, and that's where he likes to, to be, especially in a triple threat environment. Uh, but Jordan Oliver there. That's the bad thing about a triple threat match. You have to watch your back at every second. It's never ending. The eyes in the back of the head. Oh, maybe going for that frog splash. Pivoted midair. Did Leo. Miami Mike has him up. Jordan Oliver brings down Leo. Super kick to the midsection. Oh, and there's that innovative defense wow. from Leo Rush. Oh, wow. Using the momentum was... Did Leo rush to whip Jordan Oliver in and then the spin kick low. Just Again, Leo dictating the pace. Just tried to kick Jordan Oliver's jaw into the third row. And now all three men are down. It's quite obvious that Leo Rush definitely has the edge, the advantage. He's got both Miami Mike and Jordan Oliver wrestling his type of match. Yeah, but as we've seen, Miami Mike, he's able to pivot at every opportunity. He's able to hang with any style that has been thrown at him, and that includes someone of a Leo Rush. I like that. You don't see that often from Leo Rush, just a closed fist. Oh, oh, oh try to go for that spring bag cut or stunner. Oh, Super wow. kick from Miami Mike. In the 10 ring, got all of it. Oh, Oliver, wow. with that long body, able to go for that roll up. Wow, what a line! And Jordan Oliver is feeling it. Jordan Oliver showing MCW what he can do. Oh, wow! Caught in midair with the side slam. Far leg hooked. Let's say, what do we wow. even call that? That was amazing. Oh, another big boot. He likes that big boot, doesn't he, Ricky? Nice. He's got the height to him. He's got the extension. Cover. And he had the cover, but Leo Rush making the save. Wow. Just rapid fire. Offense for days. And again, Leo Rush is the man left with the gas in the tank. Love it. And the barrel aimed at his opponent. You can see he's sizing up Jordan Oliver looking to break, break the tall man down. Leo is not afraid. I mean, uh, 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 three, four years ago, we wouldn't have seen Leo Rush throwing these haymakers, throwing these punches. He's become comfortable enough with his striking game to get into a fist fight. Yeah, Leo Rush, he used to have that kind of speed, technical, high-flying style, but now he's been able to adapt this almost brawling style of throwing strikes. Like Bruce Lee, man. You're going to have to hit slow motion to see every one of those land. Oh! Big chop from Jordan Oliver. Oh, as I said, going for that big boot again. Oh, a spear from Leo. And he stuck it. Leo calling a shot. That spring back stunner. Oh, and Granny's calling for it. Leo going up where he's very comfortable, going up high. From the top of the burning building. Watch flash. Wait a oh, minute. Oh, Miami Mike. Miami Mike taking the advantage! The lateral press! Cover! Miami no Mike's done it! 